<laughs> what is what's up, boys? Boys, you're back with another gameplay video. Man. Hey, boys, y'all know the drill. I'm not gonna do too much time talking. Y'all boys saw the title. Y'all boys saw the thumbnail. We're in a new offense today. I got bored of the Eagles, so we're in. We're in. I'm not gonna spoil it, but we're in some new. You see what I'm saying? And um, I mean that's really it. I appreciate y'all boys for all the support. We hit the big. We're finna hit the big 700 as I'm as I'm recording this. But as y'all watching, I might have hit it already. So hey, man, congratulations to me. Now nah, I'm playing. I appreciate y'all boys' support. And without further ado. First intent. So, boys, um, basically, basically, it's just getting to the point to where, uh, for me, actually, once you get to about a month, a month and a half into the game, I get bored of running what I've been running all year. You see what I'm saying? So, to be honest, um, the plan for this channel is, it's gonna be how it was in Madden 23. I'm thinking. Don't hold me to it, but it's looking like the way that things are progressing, we're finna be back in the off meta streets. You see what I'm saying? So, boom. Y'all boys see it. We're in the McNasty again, nigga. For the, for y'all OGs, oh, y'all know that. This is the formation that brought us up. This is the formation that I first entered the comp scene with. And last year, we went pretty stupid with it. We, we made a little bit of noise. And um, as you see, I mean, I mean, first, first play in the McNasty in Madden 24. You see what I'm saying? We get us a little touchdown. But let's actually talk about this because I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I definitely thought that I threw a pick. Um, I'm not even going to sit here and act like I thought that this was open. But what I will say is this. I pass at it all the way outside. Like, you see how I have a little bit of separation right here? I mean, it, it should be open. But, you know, like, basically what he got was that little, like, you see how he just starts randomly running faster? So, I mean, if I don't free from that, it's probably a pick. But, hey, man, that's why you use your left trigger. You see what I'm saying? So, we strike first. Um, But what I was what I was trying to get to with that is I don't know if I'm going to stay in the bunch nasty. Because right now, this is Rams book. I don't know if I'm going to stay in the bunch nasty or if I'm going to learn how to pass out of wing slot. Because I'm not going to lie. The reason why, one, I want my offense to be not necessary. I guess wing slot is an off meta. Obviously, I'm not running that in this video, but I was just saying, um, obviously it's not technically off metal. What I was saying was I want to learn how to like get really good at a formation that not that many people run mainly. You see what I'm saying? So even if it was like a wing slot where a lot of people run it, I want to be so nasty to where you see what I'm saying? You can't guard my wing slot. Like I'm, you, you see what I'm saying? Or, or the bunch nasty if I decide to stay in this, but I don't know yet because when I'm deciding between this, okay, so Bill's playbook, y'all, y'all boys vote, y'all boys vote or let me know or something. The things I'm deciding between staying in right now, this right here is Rams. So either I stay in Rams and <laughs> watch this tight end attack. Oh no. Yep. Um, I have roaming dead eye on Lamar, by the way, because, um, if I'm under center, I'm trying to roll out. So, but I was saying that to say this. So, I either stay in Rams, run Bunch Nasty, and then um, wing tight with the tight end attack or whatever, right? Or, I go to Bills, and there's a really, really good run play that I'm actually gatekeeping until the end of time. Like, you'll see it on the channel, probably next video, to be honest, because I've already started playing with this offense. But there's this run I will gatekeep until the end of time. I honestly think it's the best run in the game. And let's talk about this before I keep, uh, before I keep ranting. So... What happens here is, um, actually, this play is called PA Slide, and basically, this is like a further outside cut of double post. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of the same angle post route, but it's just a little further out. So, what happened was, um, as you see, boom, as you see, when he cuts, he's wide open. So, really, it was just because my eyes were dead focused on Kyle Pitts. Like, you see what I'm saying? My, like, if your eyes are dead focused this way, he looks open. But then, I don't know if he rolled his coverage or what, but Buddy came from over here and then came and intercepted the ball. So, to be honest, I mean, I just didn't see him. So, good defense, I guess. But um, you guys saw what I was seeing, right? Like, he looked open, but then he just just wasn't. And you got to live with that. But, yeah, um, if I'm in Bills, I have that run play. And then Bills also has trips tied in, which will be our shotgun formation. But then we'll mainly be trapping out of um, wing slot. You see what I'm saying? So... It'll be the formation with the run in it, which I'm not going to expose yet. Wing slot and trips tight end. Or we stay in Rams, and to be honest, it's just going to be it's just gonna be mainly bunch X nasty and then wing tight and maybe um, five wide. But um, I, want, I want my main offense to be under center, um, at least for the next like few weeks. You see what I'm saying? Just to change up the pace, just to have a little bit of fun, especially with this most feared theme team because Lamar has like 92 speed for me. So, I mean, it just makes sense. 
You see what I'm saying? So I'll let y'all boys know what we decide to do. Y'all will see it in the next video, and then we'll just go from there. But here, boom, we get a lurk. We get a block. Go ahead and take it all the way to the crib. Easy work, easy work, easy work. And then um, he's back on offense, and then we get bombed. Like, I don't... I don't get, okay, so here's my thing, here's my thing, y'all, I'm not gonna rewind it, but y'all let me know if y'all have this, that was just cover for a drop, and then you see how the safety matched to the corner, maybe he just didn't see him, but it's, it's cool, it's not that big of a deal, here, this is the only thing though, I'm not gonna lie to y'all boys, this was my very first game in this, so what you're gonna see is a lot of me rolling out when I shouldn't, and that's just me getting used to the offense, you see what I'm saying? Because to be honest, Bunch X Nasty isn't really a rollout offense, but rolling out makes it better, if that makes sense. So a lot of route combos, you should really be staying in the pocket, but then sometimes I would just get caught doing too much. You see what I'm saying? So here, boom, let's actually talk about this because this was a key, key fourth down because the game's tied. So boom right here. Um, This is actually PA boot and Pete play art. So it's just streak, corner. He's... He's been playing man coverage, too. That's why I ran this. So, the streak is basically to make it to where if there's, like, a deep half or something, it won't get in the way of the corner. You see what I'm saying? And then the corner should beat man coverage. We have a wheel from the running back that also beats man just a little later. And then we have Harrison on this crosser. So, boom. That's the play. And then here, since his line is pinched, I just I get the fuck on right away. Because um, the read is either going to be RB or X. And they're both coming to the right side. So we just get the fuck on, and then boom, Chase beats his man, first down, move the chains. That's what I really like about this offense, is that the rollouts just make it really stupid, especially when you have a dead eye, like, look right here. Um, I messed it up, but literally, I mean, he overthrew it too. But you see the potential that we have here. Um, Like I said, this was my first game in it. I haven't labbed it too, too much. I'm going to be labbing it a lot more. Well, whichever offense I decide to go with, I'll be labbing a lot more. But as you see, that's a dead eye, and then we literally just drop it. Like, you know that sometimes you can catch that. That's why I'm saying this offense is really crazy because it's just it's really a deep attacking offense. And then if you have if you have a mobile quarterback, it just makes it even more deep attacking, if that makes sense. Cause then you could throw bullshit. Like you see on the run dead eye. It doesn't matter where you're throwing from. I'm basically what I'm doing is the roaming dead eye glitch. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically you know how roaming dead eye is stand still outside the pocket. All you have to do is just literally just let go of your trigger right before you throw the ball, and then it'll give you a dead eye. So, boom, here, literally scramble again, and then look at this shit. Boom. That's why I love this. Like, no, no, no. I'm not going to lie. We got to break this down. What I also realized, how I was telling y'all, I want to really I want to really OP run, and I want to be single back. Red zone offense became so much fucking, I, I have to, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to cuss, but I have to say the F word, because you guys know that red zone offense sucks this year. Red zone offense for these, like, past two, three days that I've been in single back. Like, this game right here was my very first game, but now, like, current me, I've been playing it a little bit. You see what I'm saying? Red zone has never been so fucking easy, bro. Like, seriously. This is tight in attack, um, obviously, and I just put X on the smoke because basically what that'll do is um, it'll sometimes, sometimes, depending on the coverage, it'll hold this man down, and basically you pitch will run across the end zone, and then you want to hit him over here. That's why I roll out. But as you see, we have this running back on the check and release, so then, boom. You see the user, if the user is with Y, then Pitts is in front of his man. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to scramble. I'm going to deliver it to Pitts at the pylon. You see what I'm saying? But since his user stays with Pitts, we have the second release backside. And then with that roaming dead eye glitch, like I said, I'm, I'm literally sprinting that whole play right before you throw the ball, just let go of the right trigger. And then it'll give you dead eye. Throwing off the back foot, all type of crazy shit, touchdown. You see what I'm saying? So that's, I'm really loving not even just this offense, because I, like I said, I've tried both. Just the single back aspect of the game. Um, I'm not going to lie. What I realized is it's harder to run single back at a more competitive level. You see what I'm saying? Running single back is actually way easier. Like just picking up and playing, like, Running single back wing slide is obviously going to be easier than running a good gun bunch. You see what I'm saying? But in terms of like getting good at it and running it at a competitive level, it's actually way harder than some of the other meta stuff that you guys see. Like there's a lot more stuff you got to learn. You got to be a lot more careful in the pocket because you're a lot closer to the D-line. Like just a whole bunch of small shit. You see what I'm saying? So um, it's going to take me a while to get as good in this as I was like in Eagles or Jets, for example. But... I mean, I did it last year. It was the same. I just have to I just have to slave away in the lab a little longer than the average person. That's all it is. 
And then um, this is going to be a really comp offense. I'm really excited to bring it to y'all. The other thing with it is um, if, you, if you think about it, like running off meta actually puts you, it does put you at a disadvantage because it's off meta for a reason because it's not the best formation. But it puts you at an advantage because people don't see it as much. People don't have exact defenses to go to. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, like if you ever get an ebook. Or if you ever, like, just just even talk to a competitive Madden player, they're like, yeah, I got a bag for bunch. I got a bag for trips. I got a bag for tight. Like, they have certain shells for certain formations. You see what I'm saying? And obviously, you're going to have the better, more improved shells or, like, the more sound, fundamentally sound shells against something that you play all the time. Does that make sense? So it's like, you're going to play trips all day. You're going to play bunch all day. You're going to play bunch offset all day you're gonna run into tight a few times you see what i'm saying so if i come out here in some bullshit then they're gonna be like how do i guard this and i'm gonna i'm gonna be like shit i don't know come try you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying so um that's just the direction we're gonna be going in because that's the direction i went in last year and i also realized not only was it just cool to do something different it just it just made the game a lot more fun you see what i'm saying so um like i said literally the only downside is just you have to lab more and there's going to be less setups for you to steal from other people because you're not running meta. I dropped the pick. I paused the game. I was lucky pissed off even though I was already up 14. But yeah, um, a lot less route combos you can steal from other people because they're not in your formation. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but other than that, um, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be cool. And I'm really excited to bring it to y'all boys. So um, if you guys are interested in that, just let me know. I'm not going to lie. This is the end of the game because he decided to go for it. And then when he didn't get it, he just came out um, on the other side of the half. Like, Because I received ball too. So it was going to be my ball and I'm up 14. So he just got the fuck on. Um, he, he ain't want no more smoke. So hey, fam. Appreciate y'all boys for pulling up as always. Y'all let me know if, if y'all have any off-meta offenses in mind that y'all want me to try. I've been trying Steelers, Bills, and then this was Rams. I'm going to pick one, and we're going to stick with one for a while, and we're going to get really, 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 really comp out of it. So if you want to see something, let me know before I make up my mind. Y'all boys be safe. If you're still here for some fucking reason, like, comment, subscribe, man. Yeah.